1977, policymakers took aim at saturated fat, and dairy fat was one of the first casualties. Low-fat everything became the rule, including low-fat yogurt. Since then, fat-free yogurt has earned its health halo, especially for people with insulin issues. The advice? Choose the skim version, always. But here's the catch. That advice, it wasn't based on solid science. A new study just tested it properly in people with pre-diabetes, not healthy undergrads, not mice, real people with a broken metabolism. And the method? Well, let's just say intense. Three weeks of yogurt for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yes, the yogurt diet. Kind of like the grapefruit diet, but with more culture. Each person did both versions. Three weeks of fat-free yogurt, then three weeks of the full fat version, or vice versa. Same meals, same people, just the fat content changed. So what happened? The full fat dropped fasting triglycerides. The fat-free version, nothing. That's it. That's the story. In pre-diabetics, full fat yogurt improved metabolic markers. Fat-free yogurt didn't. And yet, Fat-free is still the default advice. Maybe you're asking, why? Well, because the guidelines haven't caught up. They're still running on old assumptions. Dietary fat is the problem, so low fat is safest. But the problem fat is homemade, and science like this confirms it. So, so is yogurt a miracle food? Hmm, probably not, and you shouldn't eat it three times a day. But if you're choosing between a fat-free health yogurt and a plain full-fat version, you might be better off keeping the fat in. Still, doing low-fat everything, you deserve better science. Join my list. I'll send you more stories your doctor never had time to tell.